Hey gents, today we're gonna to take a look at Tread by Everlane. I got this a little bit early because Everlane is one of the brands I've talked about for years on my channel. It was one of the first brands that I truly uh, got excited and got me more into this because it was a brand that I felt was delivering great value, but also had incredible style. So this is their new project. It's launching and kind of in coinciding with Earth Day, but it's supposed to be like an extremely sustainable shoe, carbon neutral, very durable, long lasting. And I saw a couple of guys get the navy ones. These are the gray, kind of look like grandpa. It's like, this is like the style, right? It's like a trendy, Look at that, a little bit of suede, a little bit of leather. And so there's not a ton of detail right now, but what I'm going to do is wear these for the next week, and then once the pricing and everything is available, uh, I'll wrap up this video with all that information as I can get more, because I read a little bit about the leather production and the way that they're, uh, just, they're getting virgin plastics out of their line, which I have one of their fleeces, which is made of entirely recycled material. So Everlane's doing some really cool stuff. I'm gonna get these on the feet, show you a first couple of looks, and then wear them for a week and see how they wear in, so you know if this is a good deal. So let's get into the Everlane Tread. The path to zero impact. This actually, this box is huge considering. I get a lot of shoes here, this box is very big. Uh, let's see what's inside. This guy. I'll give you a quick flip and you can, I'll do like the speed up thing and you can pause it if you wanna see a little bit more. So this is cool, I can actually put this foam into the compost, nice feature. Cause I do a lot of recycling around here based on all those boxes, but that's a nice touch. All right, so the shoes looked a little bit small. It's because they were. They came as a women's size 12, a men's size 10, which I think was just a communication problem. And so also good to know that that first box appeared to be more of like a launch box. And this is the standard box that it comes in. Much more minimalist, much more simplistic, not so big for shipping. And so I lost some time on my week on the feet, but I'm gonna squeeze it all in by doing some extra walks, maybe go running, wearing them to the gym, and just seeing how they wear in, because what I was most impressed by on the first pair is that the tread, the sole, feels extremely sturdy and solid, and then the style is like, you know, I, I'm into it, and, and my wife likes really likes the white colorway, and so the style will be subjective, but I'm looking to see, you know, are the materials that they're using very good, are they gonna hold up over time, and try to, you know, see how I do that in one week, and so let's get a little bit more time, I'll show you another try-on of the ones that actually fit, and then we'll keep going. Four to six days later. All right, so let's talk about the shoe, but Tread as a whole is a project from Everlane that is coming out of their desire to make a low-impact shoe and sneaker, Fashion is the second worst pollutant industry in the world behind oil, and fast fashion is the worst part of it. Low quality, low cost clothes are the things that I'm trying to steer you away from on this channel entirely, not just because it's worth investing in your clothing, but also because of the environmental impacts. And so that's a huge deal for me. Everlane has been one of my favorite brands delivering great quality clothing at great values for many years with transparency from their outset. Almost everything that I've ordered from them in the past five years, I'm still wearing. So this sneaker is an accomplishment for the brand and their effort to reduce that impact. So let's talk about the different parts of the shoe. Setting aside what you might think of the design for a minute, the sole of the shoe is extremely durable. I do about 10,000 steps each day and after five days, there's such little wear and tear in the sole that I'm highly confident that this will last. You can see that in how little the micro designs have worn out in the last week. Durability is a great component of the sole, but it's also a proprietary compound that's 94% free of virgin rubber. And that's an important component of them reducing their environmental impact. The leather they're using is sourced from a specific tannery that specializes in sustainable tanning technologies with a leather working group gold rating. They use considerably less water and electricity even than other industry leading tanneries. All the lining, the laces, are all made from this recycled material that they pretty much perfected with their fleece line that I've experienced and I really like. And so the laces are very durable, but also pretty soft. And then to top it all off, the whole tread sneaker production carbon footprint was calculated and is being offset by Everlane investing in projects with native energy, which they say right now, they're improving cattle grazing practices in Montana, which is another industry that's a major pollutant. 
So the logo that they use for Tread is stylized by saying, treading the path to zero impact, which is an initiative that Apple is also pursuing. Basically a closed loop of production where they can utilize products already created and make them so highly recyclable that there's no waste in the supply chain. Very ambitious, but it's just as JFK said, we do things not because they are easy, but because they are hard, because the goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. So this first tread sneaker is a slightly more trendy design, but it's not as chunky as some of the other fashion sneakers that uh, are out there, but they come in six colorways. They have this gray, black on white, navy, glacier, butter, and pale pink. It's a double sole with a mixture of leather and this recycled plastic that looks like suede. My wife wants the white pair, and the comfort of the shoe is overall impressive while also being sturdy and durable. And I was already kind of a sucker because this is the sneaker that I wore most of the winter. I really like it from greats, but they don't make it anymore. And uh, this is kind of like the, the first thing that got me in love with this kind of like chunky design. And the price coming in at $98, I think is really tough to beat. If you look at any of the other competitive products like an Ultra Boost, and then consider the fact that not only are these probably a bit more durable, they're just as comfortable, but also the, all of the sustainability behind them, that's really tough to beat. And sizing is right in line with other sneakers. I'm usually a 12 in like a dress shoe or a sneaker and 12s on me fit like gloves. So the reason that I'm so excited about this shoe is all of the initiatives behind Tread. Sure, this is not gonna be the shoe for everybody, but if you take the raw materials that they've assembled here, the leather, the durable sole, the recycled plastic lacing, and you put this into a minimalist silhouette, you have a hell of a shoe there. And like I've said, we're so spoiled right now with how many companies are out there just focusing their energy on one specific category, especially in sneakers. There's so many great dedicated sneaker brands. And with how many projects I've seen Everlane go through in the past few years, this seems like this has a lot of momentum and a lot of good stuff behind it. So that is the new Everlane Tread sneaker. I'll link below so you can check out all the colorways. And if you have any questions, I got them right here. I've been wearing them for the past week and I'll continue to wear them because I want to see what this leather looks like in some time. I definitely want to see what sort of durability we have in the sole. So as always, I'll be down in the comments to answer any questions and you can always reach out on Instagram and Twitter. Until next time, gents, this is the Cavalier.